In Montgomery County, a former Underground Railroad stop had been facing redevelopment, but not anymore. As we hear from Fox 29's Jennifer Lee, today people came together to celebrate its preservation for generations to come. Abolition Hall was once a major stop along the Underground Railroad. It is the legacy of those who at great risk provided shelter and safety within these very walls. In recent years, this historic landmark was at risk of redevelopment into townhouses. But now supporters can rest assured local, state and federal leaders say this property will be protected for generations to come. Well, back in 1856, George Corson and others here at Plymouth meeting realized that black lives matter. They put their lives on the line, they opened up their homes. The White Marsh Township and White Marsh Art Center acquired the property in November. Community leaders say in huge part thanks to a two million dollar grant from the Carabots Foundation. Very proud to be here today on behalf of my husband and my family. Thank you very much. The art center will make this their new center of operations, providing an artistic experience for people of all means and all abilities. It's extraordinary because we have an opportunity for the past to truly inform us as we move forward. Famous abolitionists such as Frederick Douglass and Harriet Beecher Stowe all made stops here at Abolition Hall, which could accommodate up to 200 visitors at a time. To seek refuge, to be safe, to be secure, to gather themselves and to then further their path, further their journey towards freedom. The Carabots family was presented with a key to White Marsh Township. The chair of the Board of Supervisors, Laura Boyle Nestor, says by fate, the gift is being honored on a significant date from 157 years ago. So on December 6, 1865, the 13th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution officially ending. The institution of slavery was ratified. In Plymouth meeting, Jennifer Lee, Fox 29 News.